All right, so uh, this is Joe and... I'm Taylor. And that was in the middle of us talking, starting the show, like usual. Professional. But we're going to talk today about the Welfare Queen. Do you know what the Welfare Queen is? You rant about a Welfare Queen? Uh, is that the Queen of all Welfare? The person who owns it? The person who gets the most money from it? The Welfare Queen, she brags about raping the government and taunts everyday working Americans and says... The white man can kiss my ass. This was in the news like last week or the week before. Now, Joe, can, can be, correct me if I'm wrong, but you yourself was on, were on welfare, and this may or may not upset you. I'm not coming at you from this angle. I don't, I don't care. Um, here's the thing. You, I know you expect to be out there. Get him, Joe. Tell him how we should cancel welfare. That's how they chose name. Is. No, I don't think you should cancel welfare. I also don't think uh, you should have a lot of welfare for a long period of time and you should be able to cycle off of it and they say that there's stats that prove those points or whatever but this is a point to this is for this woman and this is for people like her because i know people like her that actually like work right and what i mean by work is i mean that they work like they get their first first 15 20 an hour job and they're like i have made it i am rich or whatever right this is this is she is them but they work. But let me just break this down. I'll just break it down in some logical terms for you here. Tell me, Joe. So she says, I got my own shit. Mother of three kids, myself, fuck it, and I don't pay taxes. Says the woman with you know, F- F- Obama phone type <laughs> what? type thing that she had. I guess she has an Obama phone or whatever. whatever. It. Lick my ass. Welfare. Bitch, I have more money than you, bitch. You work a nine to five, bitch. You still ain't got shit. She continues before bragging about having Jordans on my feet all day, bitch. I ain't working at no cash register, no effing Target, no effing sneaker store. You can kiss my ass before I stoop that low. Um, She brags about raping the government. And the woman curses out the president of the United States, F Trump, F the government. I'm going to rape this shit, sit my ass, my ass. I'm so Gucci. She says, clearly on a roll now. White man can kiss my ass. Respect the effing game, uh, she says over there. Okay. So in New York, uh, a mother of two children under the age of five who participates, they can participate in six major welfare pr- programs. Welfare isn't just welfare. You know, if you are on welfare, you can qualify for, like, housing assistance. You can qualify for food stamps, things like that. So you can combine all those benefits together. So um, in New York, she would receive a total benefits package with a value of more than $27,000 per year. In New York, um, they are much more generous than other welfare states like France, Germany, and even Sweden. So the incentive of getting off government assistance is nowhere near sight because this welfare queen makes it clear. So... That's the gist of that. And uh, you can watch some of this video here. All the three kids by myself. Fuck it. And I don't pay taxes. Lick my ass. And I still got it. What you want to say? Oh, welfare bitch. Food stamp bitch. Well, this bitch got more than you. Welfare bitch. Food stamp bitch got more than you. Bitch. And you work at 9 to 5. Bitch. What? Let's get There you go. Did you get that? Got it. So. <laughs> you happy about that? So there you go. So that's her, in case you're wondering. So I know I, I, I told you about a lot of it. I had some spoilers in there, some spoiler alerts. <laughs> Sorry about that. But let, let me just break it down, okay? This is the problem with these type of people. And these type of people, I don't mean people from Brooklyn. <laughs> I mean stupid ass kids is the problem is what i mean by this and i know i sound like that disgruntled old man but okay how old is she she's in her early 20s let me see what she says right here okay um it says Terry's always throwing out these crazy like how dare i ask you questions that we've elevated to the, the point i don't know she's in her early 20s she looks like she's in her mid 30s but <laughs> the way this video it's or whatever weathered. She looks, I mean, well, I mean, what can you expect? Do you have kids young? You sit there smoking all day and living off the government? I mean, it ain't much to go with your health. All right. Sorry, Joe. I didn't mean to throw you off. So you threw me off over there. Okay. So anyways, okay. 
let me explain something to you and people like you and people like you who spend, even if you're working nine to five and you spend all your money all the time, which is what this show is really about. You wasting your time, wasting your life, wasting your money and eventually having nothing and then getting mad at Trump because you've wasted your life. This is what the show is about. Not about how much we love or hate political parties, how much we hate these type of humans and this type of behavior. So to, to, to me personally, and I'll make this very clear. She is the same to me if a guy is from a upper middle class, middle class or even rich family and he lives uh, or she lives off of their mom and dad, gets to stay at their mom and dad's house till they're in their 30s, gets to have their mom and daddy pay for their car, gets their mommy and daddy to pay for their stuff. They are basically people on welfare to me, except their welfare is mommy and daddy. It's the same to me. It's the exact same. So whether you want to argue or not, to me, I never had any of that stuff. So to me, you are all equal fundamentally to this woman. You are equal to her in my point of view. So I don't care about how you try to justify it. One's mooching off the government. One's mooching off their parents. It's the same to me. So let me break it down why I have a problem with all of you mooching off your parents and then being mad at life. All of you, like her, mooching off the government and being mad at life. All of it is the same to me. You are not rich because you can buy Jordans. Jordans are like a hundred dollars. Like how much is Jordans really? A okay, hundred bucks, whatever. They're a, if let's, you can let's afford let's a modest expense of something that's one hundred fifty dollars, yeah, that does not make you rich. That does not make you wealthy. That does not make you look like you're a baller. You may look like you're wealthy, and and I say baller because, and you might think it's like derogatory. No, no, I'm saying baller as in everyone's like that. Whatever, right? I, I don't care if it's cowboy boots and you're white. Same shit to me. It, it, like, I don't own Jordans or cowboy boots. They cost the same amount of money. I don't want either of them. I like going to Ross where the shoes are $20 and I don't give a crap what you say about that. So, um, but you are not wealthy. You're, you might be wealthy to children and you might be wealthy to maybe some people that make instead of $15 an hour, $14 an hour, but owning Jordans does not make you rich. Um, not working nine to five, it does not make you rich. I don't work nine to five. What do you work, Joe? I don't work. Which is the whole point of this uh, conversation. Um, I don't work nine to five either, but I can afford a shitload of Jordans, and I know you can't. And whether or not you're, wor- you're spending money from the government or mommy and daddy, I have a lot more money than you. And it's not because of mommy and daddy, and it's not because of the state acting as my mommy and daddy. I have a lot of money because I'm independently wealthy because I work hard and I work for my hours and I work on my company. And so does Taylor, right? Yes. So this is the whole point of all this is that this isn't cool. You are not cool. You are maybe cool for a 19 year old or 20 year old or early twenties, but this does not mean you have money. Those kids are going to get older and property is going to cost more. And your needs are going to expand. And while you may think that $27,000 a year might as well be a million to at this point, it will not be. And this is the same lesson every single one of you people, younger people, who I don't like because a lot of them have this attitude. It'll come a time when you have spent 10 years living off mommy and daddy or the government as mommy and daddy. And you will realize that I am 30 years old. I don't have anything to show for my life. And I cannot get out and off of these things because I have no education. I have no marketable skills. I have no resume. And I am so used to getting free money from whomever that I have nothing. My point is all of you are the same. A bunch of fucking assholes. That I'm pissed off about this, Taylor. So I'm pissed off. A bunch of assholes that live like this, and like seriously, like let's watch, let's watch this girl, let's let's watch her grow up, let's watch her, and let's see what she becomes in life, and we'll see where she turns these problems. I know where she's going to turn these problems. She's going to turn. She's going to. This video is going to be out there, and she's going to talk about her life like everyone else in her situation, and ten years from now. We're going to talk to this person again, and a couple things will have happened. 
she will um l- let's just not talk about anything like like bad that could happen to her but let's just talk about how she'll feel she'll probably have regret that she did the video right first and foremost she'll probably be upset that she's known for this type of video and she'll probably be upset that that video and that attitude in a way has held her back in life yes it's going to happen because you know why it happens to everybody who does this sh- shit everybody everyone who does this it happens to them they always think they're never going to grow older or everything's going to be the same something will happen at one point or another where you cannot take money from mommy and daddy or the government anymore and you have to be on your own and the only way to be on your own is to be independent by financially independent fundamentally with education and everything else there is only one way to true prosperity and it is not giving somebody who gives you something to give you more of something. Cause even if the government gives you a raise, this is your life. Shitty apartment. Uh, you, the nicest thing that you can have is Jordan's and the nicest thing that you can have is, Oh, you say you're Gucci. You probably can't afford any Gucci bags or anything like that, but this is your life. Basically, this is the pinnacle of your life. This is what you get when you, Get money from somebody else and you don't take your position into your own hands and make something of yourself, then this is the best it gets. This is it. This is the best your life ever gets and this is the most you can ever expect to have. This is it. And if you're telling me right now, this person is a victim, this person is not a victim, okay? The people that get their parents' money are not a victim, okay? When you openly are saying, I don't care because I am willing to have everything else but my future, you're not a victim. If this person has children and is able to have the government pay for all this stuff, it is no one's fault but her own. When she, 10 years go by and she gets older and she realizes that she has no education, no career, and no money, Do not blame anyone else. Do not blame the government. Do not blame anyone else to blame herself and herself, period. Here's why. Okay. Because let me tell you who an actual victim is. Okay. An actual victim is someone who has went to college because they, let me, let me paint to you the perfect victim. Okay. This is a victim. Okay. Someone who grew up in a bad home was abused, had a rough time in their life, struggled, went to college, family couldn't afford it. Maybe the family made a little bit of enough money to not be in a college program, program for financial assistance. They had to take out student loans. They had to pay for classes themselves with student loans. They had to go into debt to get the education, but they had to go get into debt to get the education that they needed. And let's say this person had kids, even at a young age, 14, 15 years old, had kids, had to have family or had to have them put in daycare, had to work while going to school, had to take out student loans to go get the education needed. And then when they got the education needed, only to find out the job only pays 50 grand a year. Okay. They still have kids. They have to work. They meet a husband, husband, uh, divorces them or beats them and they have to leave husband doesn't have a job. They have to pay the husband alimony. They have to continue working while supporting the kids themselves. And now the husband, the ex-husband. Okay. And then all of a sudden this person has to struggle for years to pay for high cost of living in this state and other and anywhere else that they would live still pay for the kids still pay themselves because they make enough money to get by, but they don't make enough money to be on welfare. So this person doesn't pay any taxes and that's $27,000 a year. This person I'm talking about paid taxes and netted for themselves $15,000 a year. That's a victim. That's a real person. That's a person that I know. And I wish that story was unique, but it's not. Now, one day we can tell you who the person is, if the person wants to come on the show and talk about it. 
But that is reality where I live. Reality where I live and people that I know who aren't millionaires, who are regular people, they struggle every single day. They go out and they work and they work hard and they earn less money than this piece of trash right here. And you know what? They don't make videos about buying Jordans with taxpayer money and they don't make videos about being Gucci. They just get up every day and go to work because they have to make enough money to make ends meet for their family. That is a real victim. Okay. So this person is not a victim. So fuck you if you think they are, cause they're not, and they should not be praised. They should be shunned by everyone in society for being like this, as is the person who has mooched off their parents and become nothing and done nothing. Because so many people that I know, including Taylor, who isn't that victim, by the way, it's, no, I'm not. <laughs> he's not that victim. That's not Taylor's story. But Taylor is not on welfare and Taylor has struggled and lived on his own, supported himself and did all that stuff too. And he is doing everything that society told him he needs to do. And he can't buy a home. Right? Yes, Joe. That's correct. And this person, sorry, sorry, put Taylor on blast in this one or whatever. He sure did. He'll, don't worry, we'll get him a home, guys. That'll be on the next show. We'll get him a home. Thank you. But this, this idiot gets a free home and they say, well, she's a victim. She's not a victim. She is a scum of the system. Some people do need it. Some people are, are legitimate victims and need it. You know what? The person in the story would have needed it. Taylor would have needed it. I had it when I was a kid. I certainly needed it, but I did not want to take it as an adult because I knew that I did not want to become this person. I did not want to become this person or be like this person or be the trash that this person has become. Now, now as of this video, I don't know her. And as of right now, that's a trashy person. So shut up if you don't think that is. That is, okay? I can be proven wrong. She can change. She can be different. She can change her life and who she wants to become. But as of right now, that trashy, from, from a guy who lives at his parents' house who's a Trump supporter and says, fuck everyone on welfare, he's an asshole for sure. And so is she. So in equal regard that you hate the guy who has handed everything to them, in equal regard you hate the person that all of these taxpayers, because she says, F the white people. She's in New York City. She's not taking tax money from white people. She's taking tax money from everybody. So she's taking tax money from her people, and she's taking tax money from other people that probably would need these systems and benefit from these systems, but she can be a person who is on the system already, and this idiot can be the reason why someone who actually needs it doesn't get it. So, a little serious let me rant today, but there you go. Taylor, what do you think? Very much needed. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Taylor's like the serious stuff. Yes. I'm, uh, ma- I'm mad about this one. No, it's fine. Did you also want to mention this quickly about, you said, where, where will she be in 10 years? Where will the kids be in 10 years? Uh, Yeah, that's a good point. You know, where will the kids be? I mean, you know what? Will she pass down these values to her kids before she gets better? Jo- Joe Rogan said this before. He says, sometimes it takes a lot of pressure to make a diamond, right? Yeah. And those kids could be diamonds or they can be like a lot of the kids in those situations that are raised by a mother like that in a situation like that. And they could be exactly what the school to prison pipeline talks about, right? Yeah. They could be exactly that. They could be exactly what those kids will be. And that, that sucks. That's horrible. And I hate that. I've always hated that in society. I hate it when it's anybody. I hate anyone getting paid for their way and acts like this. And as much as you hate, like, I mean, you saw like Re- Wedding Crashers, like the douchebag character, Bradley Cooper, right? Yeah. As much as you hate that guy, that guy is her and she is him. It is of the same. It is the same because it's the same attitude from the stuff. There, there's never been a time uh, where you gave a bunch of people free shit all the time and they all just appreciate it and they turned out wonderful. Like it's, it, d- it doesn't happen that way. If you think that it happens, I would love to see the, the case study. Cause, um, everyone talks about like, Oh, look at that Joffrey, 
like in Game of Thrones. Yeah. He's such a bastard, he's evil. It's like we're making a bunch of little Joffreys over here. Like, but we're not making them king and queen. We're making a bunch of little like middle class Joffreys, a bunch of middle class kings and queens, you know? A bunch of little class princesses and princes. And it's annoying because I have another friend like that that's like that, that grew up like in a middle class family that is like like this, right? His parents were fine. They gave them a place to stay. They gave him money and all this other stuff, whatever. And he turned out to be a douchebag just like this. Not me also. Not Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Not Taylor. But in all cases, it's it's annoying. It pisses me off. It's sad. And these people grow up and they end up blaming everyone else for their problems and it's their own damn fault. So don't paint any other bullshit than what it is that this stuff needs to be fixed. And it needs to be fixed now. Otherwise, you're going to have a generation of Joffreys, which we already have, really, right? Yeah. They're called millennials out there. Me and Taylor aren't. We're better than millennials. What are we? We are. We're like, we're not Generation X. We're millennials plus two. We're like Generation Y. We're something like that. (laughs) But I don't know. Think about that. Let me know. Leave some comments, good or bad. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with Taylor? Taylor is the woman from that story. (laughs) (laughs) Just letting you know. Let us know how you feel about that. I mean, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear your defense or criticism of the welfare queen. Taylor? That was not me. I just want to say that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just please don't. 